Modular laptops might be the future. Agata's got some competition. And Nvidia gave you more VRAM, but nobody cares. None. What's up everybody? Welcome back to today's hot news. I'm your host and I am grossed out by what's happening with Frameworks website the day that they decide to drop their Laptop 16. What a name. The Framework Laptop 16 is up for pre-order on their website. You can either get the DIY version for $1,400 or the pre-built edition for $1,700 if the site lets you do it. Yeah, we had a little trouble with that earlier. It's kind of Lego-like. You can just slot parts in wherever you want them. You want to put your trackpad over here and some fancy matrix LEDs over here, you can do that. It is cool. The it, It's the world's first of its kind, I think, uh, fully modular keyboard. What happens here and how many people buy it are fully gonna determine if we're gonna see things like this in the future, if there's early adopters of something like this or not. One of the cool parts about it is that everything is supposed to be modular. You can slap in a new graphics card module, which a couple years down the line might be one of the best ways to upgrade your laptop if they commit to keeping the graphics modules up to date. Right now, we're looking at the 7700S graphics card module as being like the upgraded version of that, but we're not even 100% sure what that means. In the demonstration they had, there was a lot of uh, ifs and buts happening as they were having technical difficulties in a pre-recorded product announcement. The GPU fan broke. Yeah, great stuff. Very confidence inspiring, but I want this to succeed. I want framework to succeed, but there were a couple issues, namely the stuff happening in the pre-recording, the website going down as everyone was trying to pre-order. They threw up a couple of memes on Twitter and just like, haha, funny about it before actually addressing it. They were a little passive aggressive about a it. A little too. bit, yeah. You know, everyone paid a hundred dollar deposit to like secure a pre-order, but refundable, refundable, completely refundable. But you didn't get any email confirming your purchase. Yeah, things things were a little chaotic at first. Also, if you do want that 7700S GPU upgrade, that's a $400 upgrade right there. So if like in the video that they showed off their product, if the fan on that thing dies and there's no way for you to fix it, that is a, that is a $400 replacement right there. It's not cheap. Fun stuff. I want it to succeed, but I don't want to buy it. Speaking of things that I don't want to buy, the 7900 GRE is going for sale in China. What does GRE stand for? Stands for Grefix Card. Yes, <laughs> it actually like stands for Golden Rabbit Edition because this is the Chinese year of the rabbit, I guess. This isn't actually the first time that AMD's launched a special commemorative card. The RX 590 GME or Golden Mouse or Rat Edition for the year of the rat in 2020 was released, but it actually wasn't as interesting as the name might imply. You might picture it like being gold in appearance or slightly better than Something the normal fancy. version. But the 590 GME was actually ever so slightly less powerful than the normal RX 590. And that seems to be happening with this one too. So the 7900 is being shipped with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, a little less than the 20 gigabytes that are in the 7900 XT. We're not 100% sure about things like boost clocks or memory speed or bandwidth. Uh, we know it's gonna be better than the 7600. But it, it's <laughs> using a cut down Navi 31 die for some reason. It seems like it might be a budget option, but the price hasn't been released yet. So. We'll just have to wait and see what goes on with this. You guys like special editions? I do, but maybe not for this one. It's a cool name. It probably comes in a cool box. Yeah, so let us know if you're going to pick something like that up. And speaking of things you might want to buy, we've got some UFT deals for you. And switch. And we're starting off today's deals with the glorious Kale Box white clicky keyboard switches. This 120 pack is going for only $19.99, making it $20 off half price. Prerequisite for professional gamer, clicky switches. Clicky. And if you want to finish treating your keyboard right, then you can grab the glorious coiled USB artisan braided cable. The white variant is going for only $24.99, making it $25 off, off so 50%. But next up, we have the PNY Accelerate Gaming DDR4 kit. This 16 gig, 3200 megahertz CL16 kit is going for only $33.19, making it $48 off. DDR4 got cheap. DDR4 got real cheap. <laughs> and then we have the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision C CPU air cooler going for only $49.99, making it $20 off. And last but not least, we have the Samsung 970 Evo Plus Gen 3 M.2 SSD going for only $49.99 for the one terabyte version. Hello. <laughs> Hi. It's Brett. It was... Go, go back under the desk. No. Slither. You can't put me back in my hole. He goes back under their hole. It's my hole and you get back to <laughs> I don't like anything. I'm you say. not going into your hole, Kyler. And switch. Scene. Reese, did you know that Tesla's making so much money that the firemen are mad? 
What? Why are the firemen mad, Kyler? Uh, basically, there was a lawsuit back in 2020 from the retirement funds of police and firefighters that was challenging the stock options that Tesla's board was granting themselves back in 2017. They pretty much owe $735 million, like one Cybertruck's worth of money because they were overpaying themselves. I'd like to do that. Please. Overpay yourself? Yeah. So basically after they got caught making too much money and doing some sketchy stock stuff, the board of directors for Tesla just agreed to not get paid for a couple, a couple years, years. <laughs> 2021 to 23. And this is actually separate from another lawsuit filed by shareholders against Elon for giving himself 56 billion in compensation. It's hard to tweet. It's hard on the thumbs. It is. It's a joke. Just like Neopets is a joke. Neopets is not a joke. Neopets was very serious business for him and Brett. Guys, Neopets is back and it is not a Scientology trap this time. <laughs> Probably, maybe. They're under new management. A company called NetDragon was basically the parent company of the original company that owned Neopets that was called Jumpstart. Uh, and they've had control over Neopets for the past 10 years, but guess what? Oh boy, Dominic's rolling in. Dominic Law is coming in as the CEO of NetDragon. He claims to be an actual fan of Neopets, spent a couple of, you know, way too many hours back on it back in the early 2000s, mm. which uh, Neopets was really a thing in South Africa. So these guys have way more experience on it uh, than I do. I miss my days back in the Grand Bazaar, whatever that thing was called. So they've been spending a long time just trying to keep the IP afloat, but now they want to innovate. Guys gonna come back to Neopets? They got $4 million in funding to just reinvent themselves. So what they have is new games that are gonna be planned. They have a mobile game coming out that's supposed to be like some sort of life simulator. And one thing that I thought was really interesting is that they're working on flash player emulation to bring back all their old games. Oh, well, this is gonna be like a RuneScape classic, but for Neopets. So Neopets was, the thing about Neopets was it wasn't actually like one game. It was just a website with like a bunch of mini games. There was no like hub world or anything. It was weird. Sounds weird. It, it, it's, it was awesome. It was really good. And you know what else is awesome is that Elgato's finally got some competition. Finally. Mm -hmm. Logitech just bought Loop Deck. And if you haven't heard what they are, they're basically Elgato, but different, kind yeah. of. Uh, they make custom hardware and software that's mostly specifically for streamers or different kinds of creators. I remember when Loop Deck came out with that console for like Photoshop and stuff. I wanted one so bad. And it seems like Logitech's pulling a Corsair here because they're grabbing up all these different things. They grabbed blue microphones not too long ago. They've grabbed Astro for headsets. Now it seems like it's a little bit of everything. One popular PC tech accessory manufacturer is kind of dipping their toes into a bunch of different areas. And the people trust giant. Logitech. Yeah, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? This is competition. This is competition with Elgato. Uh, it, 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 this could be good for the consumer. What else is good for the consumer is a clock speed bump for everyone. Oh, I love it when my clock goes too fast. <laughs> and what I'm specifically speaking about is the Intel Core i9-1400K is apparently gonna boost up to six gigahertz. But that's not all. The entire lineup seems to be getting a bump of at least 200 megahertz each. Yeah, it looks like BenchLife just leaked all this internal data from Intel. Yeah. It, it, so we know the full specs of all of the last K series that are coming out for the LGA 1700 platform. We're looking at that Raptor Lake refresh. We got some good numbers here. You can check them out in the link in the below, in the below, the link in the below. Brett's coming. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. But you're still gonna need an Arctic chiller to keep these things cool. Because uh, oh. <laughs> they're gonna draw like 8,000 watts. <laughs> That's what you guys sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was channeling Gremlin Brett, but uh, he's channeling you guys. He sounded like one of Beavis and Butthead. But just like Intel's giving you things you don't want, NVIDIA is about to give you a prelude to the portal. What Brett? Anybody can host hot news. <laughs> <laughs> the most popular portal mod that you may or may not already know about, I didn't know about it, is now available with RTX on. Oh! Yeah, baby. You're getting those crazy shadows. So today, the... Uh, apparently fan favorite Portal Prelude came out for the fully ray traced version of Valve's classic Portal game. Do people actually play this? I thought people just looked at this for a second and then turned it off. That's what I do. They were using NVIDIA's RTX Remix to add ray tracing into an older game with this specific title, which is a cool concept. I've seen people breathing new life into old games like Morrowind. I think that was the NVIDIA's big 
display example. I kind of want to have some old games with new fancy graphics. It's really cool. I just think it's a little weird that I've never heard of this game and it was apparently the number three overall player's choice mod of 2008. Were you was, even alive I was. I actually wasn't even born yet. What was the number one mod of that year? I could Google it, but I won't. Tell me in the comments, please. You I know, you, know. Actually, you guys probably remember. You're all a bunch of old fellas. <laughs> Hit them with the old fellas again. <laughs> and speaking of things that people don't care about, did you guys even hear that today NVIDIA dropped their 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte edition? The one that everyone was kind of hyping up for like one second because, hey, they're giving us more VRAM because we complained, except no one really cares at the end of the day. You're still stuck with that 128 bit bus. Oh, oh, Reese. Reese just dunked on you guys, you 4060 Ti owners. It's $100 more to get the 16 gigabyte version. And apparently Nvidia doesn't even care because they didn't seed this to reviewers anywhere. They came up with their own little chart and they're like, here's some 1080p gaming. We say it every single time, but Nvidia just doesn't care about you if you're not spending a lot of money on their stuff. Nah. That's really what it seems like. Or it's also kind of weird that it was just two months ago that they released the original eight gigabyte variant. I know all of you little dummies wanted so much VRAM, right? And they we gave you VRAM. Think about it. They gave it to you. And it, who who cares? Who even cares now? Guess Nobody what? It didn't up. matter. Nobody picked up the 4060 Ti, so I don't think anyone's really going to be picking up the 16 gig version, regardless. Well, well, at least the launch went better than Quibi's. Frick you, Meg Whitman. Uh, and on that note, frick all you guys, because I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. We love you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's fine. You're all great. And nice, goodbye. Killed it.